Hi, this is Adam, Sierra Quebec 5, Victor Charlie Oscar. Every time I post a map of my QSOs, like from a contest or something, uh, I get asked where such a map can be generated. I'm going to show you how to do this in this video and also how you can download and map your QSOs from the logbook of the world. First, we need something to work with, an edif log file. So let's start with downloading my LOTW log. We head to Google, which today, the 11th of November 2024, is showing the Polish flag for our Independence Day, marking the 106th anniversary of Poland regaining independence after the end of the First World War. We search for Kilo One Mike Uniform LOTW Query. Here I enter my call sign and I click these checkboxes as I want to map only confirmed contacts and also to include location data in the generated edif file. There are also other options available, for example I want to map only CW contacts. We are taken to the LOTW website and asked to log in. After entering the credentials we need to wait a while as the log is generated. If you don't use Logbook of the World, you can export an edif file from your logger applications like N1MM, Log4OM or ROMLog. Please note that the website appearance does not change, yet a download of the log has started. While we wait, let's head back into Google and search for Delta Lima 4 Mike Foxtrot Mike. We head to the website and navigate to the Tools section. Here we click on Log Analyzer. I'm entering my call sign and QTH locator, and there are also other options available that you might want to explore. As the log file finished downloading, I select it from the Downloads folder. We are ready to map our QSOs, so let's click OK. The log analyzer gives us a map of our QSOs. Let's zoom around and check other map types. You can also change display modes in regard to band pins, QS lines, appearance, etc. I found some of the options glitching at times, and for best experience it's preferable to use Chrome browser, as I found out. You can also limit the displayed QSOs to certain bands, etc. You can show some statistics, word countries, and even download the DXCC list uh, as a text file. Exporting the map as an image requires making a screenshot, so this might vary based on the operating system you use. I'm on a Mac, so I'll use Command Shift plus 4 to take a screenshot of the selected portion of the screen, which is saved to the desktop. And there you have it, a QSO map. Enjoy! If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing to my channel. 73.